One of the most common question I receive through different channels, be it a comment on my YouTube channel or emails or on my Discord server, is how to import a certain data type into Strategy Quant X. Now, this is a legit question because Strategy Quant X is very flexible. And in fact, you can do many things with it by importing certain code into a certain part inside Strategy Quant X. Now, if you go to my YouTube channel and on the search bar, just type import data, you will find there are many videos that cover this subject. But today we will go over the other types that you can import into Strategy Quant X and we will do a couple of examples to show you how you do that. In this chart, I try to simplify the type of data that you can import into Strategy Quant X. So first of all, we have the price data. This can be on any asset class, stocks, ETF, crypto, futures, forex, and also an alternative data. This type of data, comes in either CSV or text format. Usually you import this type in the data manager. So it's gonna be either an asset class or even alternative data, let's say the shipping volume, the commitment of traders. You can do that here. Now the alternative data can be a symbol name. So the alternative date, let's say commitment of traders, you can call it COT. You can also do it in builder, building blocks, and you can do it here add external indicator this data is fixed meaning it will not be calculated when new data comes in so if you add commitment of traders that is let's say today then a week a month from today you need to import the data again because there is no calculation on this data although it says add external indicator it's not actually indicator it's just fixed data but now you can calculate things on top of it so for example if you add commitment of traders you can add a moving average on this commitment of traders but remember you're going to have to update it just like you update the price of any asset class the second type of data that you can import is a config setting so this can be done in builder retester optimizer and projects the extension for this data is CFX. So here we have save and open configuration for builder. And also these are predefined configurations. So for example, default Forex will have certain configuration here and in what to build. All these are safe. The same thing in retester. So here is the save and the load. Same thing in optimizer, save and load and same thing in custom projects so here when you create a new project you can save it so you can open it later and also even on the current projects you can save them and open it later the third type is config settings for building blocks and the extension for this file is sqb so if you go to builder on building blocks you can save any settings here so for example, let's say, uh, let's pick nothing here. And let me just pick the ADX. So right now I have only eight blocks picked in ADX. Now I can save this configuration by going here. So this is saved. So if I save this now, so now that is saved and let's just pick randomly. We choose 100 blocks at 10. So you can see now I have 89, 21, and zero. And now I can open the saved configuration and you will notice that once it's loaded, we will get back our eight blocks. The next data type is custom blocks and custom groups. The extension for this is XML. So for example, if you download my candlesticks pattern and ebook, you will receive a PDF file and also you will receive an XML file. Now the file is compressed and once you uncompress it, you will find these two files, the group and the patterns. And you can import this type of file in AlgoWizard if you go to customize, custom blocks, and you can see right now I don't have it. So let's import it. So you go click import. And here is the file. This is the XML file. So this will host all the custom blocks. So let's import and you can see when you import it, it has, uh, you can create a new category for them or you can load them into an existing category or you can load them with the original category. 
So I'll leave it as the original, which is under Statoise Scandal Patterns. So let's choose that. And file contains one or more existing, yes. And now they are loaded. And you can see here are the blocks. Now remember, you cannot add the random group before loading the custom blocks because the random group contain the custom blocks names so if you don't have the custom blocks then the random group will not work so let's add the random group right now so import and here is the group and again same thing you can you can import it into an existing group or you can create a new group or you can import the original so the original is under stat oasis bar patterns so if i import it now and here it is so candlestick patterns so now i have unsafe changes let's save it so right now these are all the candle patterns that came from these custom blocks now they are in a group so if i switch now to template and then i can add a random condition now this random condition can choose one of these random groups so in this case i will have my candlestick patterns so right now this template will pick any of my candlestick custom blocks in this condition and that's the advantage of the group which you can mix and match custom blocks to be used randomly in a group and the final data type we have it's called snippets now the extension for this data type is sxp this includes many types of data i listed some of them here so they are either indicators custom analysis data bank filters what if scenarios money management charts trading and commission and any sqx engine additions this is where you can manipulate strategy quant x to do whatever you like the drawback is you need to do it by programming through java everything we did before did not require any programming so if you are importing data it's usually a csv file or text file if you are building custom blocks usually you're doing it through the graphical interface the groups is also using the graphical interface all the configuration is done through the graphical interface in snippets you have to do it through programming also there is one very important distinction in the snippets if you are importing an indicator then this indicator has to be also imported in the other platforms for example i want to import connor's rsi indicator into strategy context now, if you import the snippet into Strategy Quantex alone and you build a strategy using Connor's RSI, then when you export this strategy to be traded in MetaTrader 4 or TradeStation or MultiCharts, the strategy will not work because the indicator does not exist in those platforms. So every indicator that you import into Strategy Quantex, it has to be accompanied by indicators in your trading platform so you can import it there all other snippets like the data bank or money management or monte carlo anything else you do in strategy context does not need to be imported in other platforms because it will be working only in strategy quant x so to import a snippet you need to click on this button here this is the code editor once you launch it you will get the built-in codes and snippets and the user code snippets. So this is where your customization comes in. So if you go to Strategy Quant X code base and you can find there are multiple extensions here. I picked here Connors RSI. If you download this and extract it, you will find these indicators. So like I mentioned, every indicator has to be accompanied by the same indicator for the other platforms. So for example, this is SXP. If you remember, this is the extension for Strategy Quant X. Then we have, this is MQ5 for MetaTrader 5, MQ4 for MetaTrader 4, and ELD, this is for TradeStation 
and the same indicator can be used for multi charts so to import this indicator you need to open the code editor like i mentioned and then you need to go to import export so click on it click on import extension and as you can see it shows only the sxp because that's the extension it's looking for so if i click on it select so i imported this already and now because it's found it it wants to overwrite it and i will so these are all the snippets that this indicator will bring in and once it's imported you need to say recompile all snippets so recompile all and all is done now you can close this and now for strategy quant x to see it you need to exit and launch again so now that we launch again if we go to builder and we should see the corners rsi in building blocks so let's see c and there it is so these are the blocks available for corners rsi and of course also it will be available in algo wizard so if you type corners so these are the corners and this is the indicator so like I mentioned, the indicator has to be imported in the other platforms in order when you export your strategy, you can use it. So remember, we have the MetaTrader 4, 5, and MultiCharts and TradeStation. So let's import into TradeStation. So if you open the TradeStation development environment, go to File, Import, and we import Easy Language File, and we locate the file. Click open and it will load a function and an indicator. So just say yes, finish. And here is the indicator. As you can see, it's calling a function, which is the SQ Connors RSI. So now when you build a strategy in strategy context that's using Connors RSI and you export it, then the other platform, in this case TradeStation, will understand that strategy and will try to match its performance. Also, it is important to note here that every time Strategy Quant X launches a new version, you need to import the indicators again into your trading platform because most likely they updated those calculations and they need to import the indicators into your trading platform and under the same extension like i mentioned you can do many more features and i will pick a data bank filter now so this is the annual percent return divided by maximum drawdown percent of initial capital so if you download this and extract it you will get this file so again we open our code editor and we go to import import extension and we pick the extracted file extension xp so this is the snippet and like we did before we recompile and once it's done remember you need to exit strategy quant x and launch it again now you can view all your imports here under user so this is code and this is snippet so we click here and we just imported columns so this is data bank and this is what we imported now you can find the indicators here so this is the connors rsi that we imported before so now if we go to strategy quant x and let's go to builder so for example here i have some strategies and now if you create your own view you can add this snippet so let's add column so this is it annual percent return divided by drawdown percent on initial so let's add that in save changes and now if i switch to this so here's the snippet added to my data bank now it says na uh, i don't know why so let's see money save and now it's zero in any case we know that we added the snippet now remember in the code base in strategy quant x website you will have all these type of snippets that you can add they will all be sxp extensions so now you are an expert on importing data into strategy quant x be it data for asset classes or for custom blocks for indicators for data banks and so on and so forth
To learn more, make sure to watch these videos and I will see you.